Hi, Kathy Crafty Chica here from my studio in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm making this video for all of you ha who have written me letters about the Tula Screen It. I've been posting pictures of all the things I'm making and the screens I've been burning. And I've been getting a lot of feedback about like, having a tutorial and different questions. So that's what this video is for. I have to say I this machine has changed my life because I look at it like a sewing machine or a hot knife or a glue gun. It's become a main staple in my studio. Why? Because I can burn my own images onto a screen and then use them for fabric collage, on paper, um, books, all kinds of different things. I'm going to take you from step one all the way to the end, like right from opening the box, everything that I have done along the way to ensure that you have a really great successful experience like I have. Because once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy and you'll get addicted like me. So anyway, let's get started. When you first get your kit, you'll want to assemble it. Take it out of the box, separate the two portions. On the first half, you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver and take out the screws so that you can remove the glass plate to take out the light bulbs and the paint and the squeegee. Once you do that, screw in the two white light bulbs to the machine, replace the frame, and screw it back on each side and your machine is ready to go. Using a black permanent marker, draw or print your image on a sheet of 20 pound copier paper. I scanned mine into the computer just so I could blacken the lines and thicken them and brighten it up a little bit. Remove the frame from the foam base and slip it under the fabric. I like to use a light touch of repositionable tacky spray just so it grips better, but you could also use blue painter's tape. Go ahead and set that screen on the fabric, put the frame on top, take your tulip soft paint, squirt it across the top, get your squeegee and just drag that paint down in one direction a couple of times. Peel off the screen and then immediately wash all the paint off in the sink so you can use your screen again. I hope you liked my tutorial. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section and I will answer them. For more information, visit ilovetocreate.com or tulipscreenit.com. Thanks!